Back to school shopping is now a mashup of malls and mobile. I really want a pair of ripped jeans. Today's teens aren't just roaming the mall to discover new fashions. They're researching trends before they hit the stores. The AP followed four of them as they shopped at the Roosevelt Field Mall in New York. If I really want something, like if I'm, oh, I want a new romper, I'll look online beforehand. Retailers see a trend as well. Teens are less tied to labels and seek individuality the ability to mix apparel from different retailers. They actually are walking into the store with ideas of what it is that they want to buy. So they're really relying on brands and stores to be able to cater to the ideas that they've already built up in their heads. And with teens hitting the stores with predetermined ideas of what's hip, brands like Abercrombie & Fitch are adjusting inventories in order to stay relevant. Yeah, like if I find like a cool jean jacket on Tumblr like, and I find a cute top on Instagram, like I'll try to like mimic them with like a store I know. The constant connectivity means shopping decisions are now a real-time collaboration between the virtual and real worlds. Do you have the geotag? And it's not just the buyer's opinion that matters. Um, like in the dressing room, like I'll take a picture of like my outfit and like maybe send it to my friends to see what they think, or like to my mom if she's not with me, like to see a couple opinions before I officially buy it. The elements of social media now mean trends on Instagram and Tumblr are the new roadside billboards. Yeah, outfit of the day is like a big hashtag. The new shopping behaviors reflect the overall shift in retail, one that merchants are only now coming to embrace. I think maybe five, ten years ago, people really thought that they were going to compete against each other, and a lot of retailers would actually operate them as separate channels. They'd have their digital channel and they'd have their physical channel, and now everybody realizes that you're pretty much targeting the same consumer, just for different usages. Even with that realization, the outlook for the back-to-school season is tough. The National Retail Federation said spending by the average family with children is expected to drop nearly 6% from a year ago. But that won't stop teens from browsing. Luke Sheridan, The Associated Press.